Hey guys, my name's Dora, and today I'm gonna show you how to make these Juniper Berry Breeze bath bombs. Stick around, because at the end, we are gonna see the results. Just in case you're new to bath bomb making, you want a spoon mix in to fill the mold, then pack the mix down slightly. Don't ever over pack the molds. And then last, sprinkle loose mix on top. This is important because loose mix bonds well with other loose mix. So when you push the two sides together, both sides will fuse, creating a solid bath bomb. Whenever you're trying new techniques or whenever you're painting a bath bomb, always grab the ugliest bomb first. You don't want to practice on your pretty ones and you only get better as you practice so start with the ugliest and work your way up. Seriously though, like painting bath bombs can be tricky, but a good rule of thumb is to just keep it simple. This batch only made two large bath bombs, and I'll be honest, I had no idea what I wanted to paint. So I ended up covering both bath bombs with different options and arrangements of berries. I suggest painting the berry bunch with leaves, or a single berry in leaves, or you can just paint single leaves and or single berries. You could even paint a pattern on the entire bath bomb, Ooh, or maybe just like a simple border. You know, honestly, I just wanted to show you these options and arrangements so that you could probably get like an idea of what you wanted to paint. But that is completely and totally up to you. That is your creative call. Look how gorgeous the water turned out, and it smelled so great.
Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you found it helpful or inspirational, you should subscribe. Don't miss out on weekly creative bath videos and ideas. Also, supplies used in this tutorial will be linked in the description.